Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create your own DIY customized Starbucks decals. These are the reusable Starbucks cups and only cost $3 a piece. Such an easy and inexpensive way to personalize your own cup. Now let's get started. Okay, so to create these uh, Starbucks designs, I'm going to upload some images. So I'm just going to go to upload here and I'm going to be using these three and then also a uh, snowflake one. So I'm going to select these three here quickly and then I'm going to go to view all images and I'll show you the other one that I'm going to use. And these ones that you see, I bought this, um, all of these off of Etsy and I can leave the link below to the store where I bought it from. Um, but I'm also going to use this one right here. So I'm going to insert all four of those. And the reason I'm choosing these ones, number one, is because this store was amazing where they already set the size for this. So I don't have to do anything with the size for this. It can't be any easier. So really the only thing that I have to do is change the colors on here. I'm going to be using holographic vinyl, so I'm going to do each one of these a little bit different. So I'm just going to change the color here. This one I'm going to do just regular white, so with it selected, I'm just going to go up to the color box here and change this to white. And then these three are going to be the holographic ones, but I don't want them to be all the same color. So I'm going to just switch these, and honestly, it doesn't matter what color I'm going to change it to because... I'm just going to be putting in the holographic one so i'm just choosing whatever color so it changes it for me uh quick story on uh the starbucks cups um so i purchased one off of amazon for about ten dollars uh for my daughter's uh, friend's birthday and i just recently found out that they sell them at the store for three dollars so for those of you who didn't know that, please go to the store and ha and buy your cups there. It is so much cheaper. Um, I would love to get the commission off of selling the Amazon ones, but I'm always truthful and I'm always trying to help you guys out finding great deals. So if you didn't know that, the Starbucks cups you can buy directly from Starbucks for $3. So save yourself some money. So again, going with this, one thing I'm going to do actually is check these. Um, this one, I noticed that on the side here, you can see it, that each one of these little uh, snowflake pieces are going to cut out individually and then you'll have to figure out where to put them. So to change that, I have it selected. I'm going to go down here and push attach and then that's going to make all this gray here and it's going to show me that everything is going to be attached together. I'm just going to check these ones. They are already attached. I don't have to worry about it. It's all one piece. And like I said, I don't have to change the size on this at all, which is amazing. So I'm just going to go to make it. This is just going to be a really quick tutorial. You can make your own SVGs for this, um, but I'd rather, you know, pay a couple dollars, help out a business, and um, just have the full SVGs here myself. So again, the only thing you got to do is cut this out, put the different kind of vinyl on that you want. So I'm just going to push the continue button. I did actually make a few of these already, and I love how they turned out, so I figured I would do a quick video on them. Um, again, I know you can make your own, but... I just rather do it this way. So really the only thing you have to do is cut this out and put it onto your cups. Okay, so for the first one here, I'm going to be using just regular stencil vinyl. So I'm gonna click this one. This is my base material. These are the ones that I saved because these are the ones that I use most often. So for this red one, the bluish purple one, and this purple one here, I'm actually going to select, um, let's see, this premium vinyl holographic. So when I cut this one out, I want to make sure I put it to this because your machine knows how much pressure and um, how to cut it out properly. So if you are going to use holographic versus regular vinyl, please make sure that you change it. So I'm going to go back to this one and I'm just going to do stencil vinyl so that my machine knows it's the stencil, it's the regular vinyl instead of the holographic. So when I go to cut this, I'm just going to change it back. So I'm going to cut these out really quick. I'll weed them out and then I'll show you the next step of putting them on. All right, so I'm finished doing my uh, cutouts. So here is the holographic. I really love that. It's nice and shiny, and then it turns a different color. So I did three of those, and then I just did one white one for 
the snowflake. But I wanted to show you guys really quick what I use to weed my stuff. So it's going to get kind of bright, but once I turn this on, this is my Cricut Bright Pad. I absolutely love it, especially if you're using like holographic or darker colors. It's so much easier to see behind it, especially if you're weeding little things. So I figured I'd show you guys this really quick. Um, I do love holographic, but for whatever reason, I don't think my blade is sharp enough because when I pull it up, sometimes some of the pieces stick. But this uh, light up really helps a lot. You can definitely see all the pieces in here that you need to take out. So I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but I can really see all the pieces in here really well. But it's so much easier for me to weed. So I will finish weeding this up. I just wanted to show you guys if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. But this is how I weed. I love this light. I'm not sure if they sell the Cricut uh, brand anymore, um, but I'm sure you can find some on Amazon. I'll leave the links below if I find any of them, but I'll leave the links below for this holographic paper too. I absolutely love it. If you can see, it has like a beautiful shine to it. And depending on where you put it, it shows you a different color. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll show you the next step of putting it onto your cup. All right guys, I was a little impatient and I actually went ahead and did one. Um, I really wanted to see what it looked like. So this is what it looks like with this uh, holographic vinyl on it. I love it. I love the file. I've purchased a lot of these files from Etsy and this one is the only one that has been precise on the actual size of the hole here. So I'm very, very happy with this. I'm going to leave the link below to where I purchased this one from. I'm very happy how they did that. I had done this one before and it was not correct. I literally had to pick up the pieces and replace them around the edges because it was not correct. It was not even a perfect circle. It didn't fit at all. So I was very upset and displeased with that um, particular SVG file. I'm not going to leave them below. Um, so, And then this was another one. I actually purchased this one from Etsy as well. But uh, same kind of thing, it didn't it didn't fit perfectly. It took me quite a while to figure out how to get the exact circle on here. So going forward, I have these two left, this really pretty holographic one, and then also this one, and then I have the white one with the snowflake. I don't know how well it shows up on here. Um, but then I'm gonna show you these. So these were the cups that I bought from Starbucks itself. I ordered them online and then I went to go pick them up and they come with the straws and they come with the covers as well. So um, definitely do not buy on Amazon. Like I said, I did before. I bought one, just one of them was $10 and free shipping because I have the Amazon Prime, but I was not happy about that. Luckily to whoever sold it, they made some money on it, but I didn't know. So don't buy from Amazon, go directly to the source and get it from there. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just take some alcohol. I have some dollar store alcohol here and a paper towel and you want to clean your cup really well before you put any of your designs or anything on it. So you're not going to ruin this part here. You can just go right over it. It's not going to ruin it. It's not going to come up. And I'm not worried about any of the other parts around the rest of the cup. I'm more worried about just the front part where it's going to stick onto. You want to make sure it's clean and dust free and finger free, fingerprint free. So I'm just going to take another one and just do another one really quick with the same cloth and just clean it really well and then give it time to sit and dry because you want your cup completely dry before you even try to put your vinyl on it. So I'm gonna let these two sit and then in the meantime, I'm just gonna take my file and put some transfer tape over it. So another thing I learned also from uh, different videos is when you use transfer tape you don't want to use really really sticky transfer tape because this green will peel up from that so I'm just using the cheap dollar store uh, transfer tape this um, contact transfer tape so make sure that you don't use anything sticky and if, if it's the only kind that you have just put it on your table kind of rub it down and pull it up a few times so it gets less sticky so I'm just gonna cut off a piece of this really quick and then peel it back. Give me a lot of troubles here. Just wanna peel it back. And then carefully put it onto your uh, file that you have cut. So I like to just 
plunk it down directly in the middle and then lay it down so you don't get any air bubbles or anything. And then here's the part where you want to use your squeegee and do it, but I'm in a new office space and I didn't move everything over yet, so I'm actually using an old Amazon card and I'm just gonna push it down really hard. Get all the bubbles out and make sure it sticks to the transfer tape really well, but this is, would be really handy to have a squeegee, which I don't have in here yet, which I'll have to put in here. Again, I'm kind of anxious to see what this looks like. So I peel mine up. I always peel my backing off backwards so I can see if anything comes off and I can put it on right away. So now that my cup is dry, you can see if it's wet anywhere. It's not. It's completely dry. You're going to want to take your file and then just find the center of it. And another thing I've kind of learned from these files is it's not just one way up and down. It's kind of, you got to figure it out. It's not a perfect circle. So you got to kind of go on a few times and see if you can line it up correctly. So just take your time. I'm kind of lining it up with the star at the top here and like this, the middle of her stomach part there with both of the pieces there. But once you think you get it where it belongs, just want to slowly put it down. I like to go in the middle first and then just kind of rub outwards. But again, this file is perfect. It's the exact amount of round that it should be. It's Each piece is hitting the green part. It's not farther down on one side and farther up on the other. So I'm just going to take my finger. You can't really see it. Thanks, Emma. She's sitting here with me. So you just want to take your fingers. It's hard for me to see my camera. Sorry, guys, if I was off. Luckily, she was sitting there. So just take your fingers and kind of push it on, making sure you don't have any bubbles or anything. And then just peel back slowly. So start with one end. Whoops. And if it comes up like that, just go ahead and push it down some more. And then it should stick. So just take your time and slowly go. Perfect. So I like to save my transfer tape, so I'm just gonna stick it on my table for now. But look at this, it's amazing. Like I said, it fits exactly where it's supposed to around the whole cup, I don't have any issues with it. And I also was thinking, you should probably um, seal this somehow, but after doing some research, and because it's 651, it's a permanent vinyl, you should not seal it with anything. I would recommend that if you're going to sell this, that you put something inside saying hand wash only, or people say that they put it on the top rack of the dishwasher, but I don't do that. I just say hand wash and then it should be on here forever. But you gotta give it, I think it's 24 or 48 hours to cure for this uh, to stick, to stick to it. So I'm just gonna show you quick. So I have the cover here, so it's just a plain old cover. And then I have the straw. And I don't wanna open the straw right now, so I wanna keep it, um, you know, not used looking. So I actually did it backwards. So I'm gonna put the straw on because there's a little piece on the bottom here. And then you can stick the straw through. And it's just like that. So it's just that easy to create these. It looks really nice. Thanks, Emma. If you want to sell these, you can sell them because you did purchase the cup, so you're not, you know, taking anything away. And then I purchased the SVG file as well. So I love how this looks. Like I said, I did a different one over here. But again, I was very displeased with how I had to literally pick up each piece and put it up into the green part. So This one's my favorite. She likes the dog one dog mom and then she had the idea of putting the little uh, paw prints kind of around the edges they did not come like that so it was pretty cool that she was sitting there so I'm gonna let this cure for 48 hours before I try selling it up the street at the store um, but they're that easy to do so I'm gonna finish these ones the same way that I just did I'm just gonna take my transfer tape that I just used I like reusing things just put it on top and then just do the same thing you did before you just pushing on here to make sure that it sticks and we already dried or washed and the cup is dry, so I don't have to worry about that. I like to work upside down to make sure that nothing comes off. And then again, 
it's not a perfect circle so you gotta kind of work with it to see where which way it's supposed to go on but I think this was the correct way I'm not putting it down yet I'm kind of estimating where it should go and kind of looking because if you could see try to show you if you put it on this way the bottom is way off so you just kind of want to work with your file I'm just flipping it a little bit now I'm gonna go back on and see that's much better so see you gotta just flip it a little bit so there it is so here's the second one start from the side and then work your way out because you don't want any air bubbles or anything and you could take this a step further if you wanted and you could personalize it and put a name on it like I see people putting names up here or they kind of go over the line here um, but you could also definitely do that if you wanted to but this is just a fun it really was a very quick project I mean from start to finish it probably took about 20 minutes from cutting it out to putting the SVG file in there but I love these files. I think they're absolutely beautiful. It was so easy to weed out with this holographic. So I'll leave a link below to the holographic. I'll leave a link below to this um, site that I have bought this from. I really like her store. So I'm definitely going to leave that down below. Hopefully you guys will go and purchase it from her. But like I said, it was a perfect circle on here. It fits perfectly. I didn't have to adjust it anyway. And so the last part is just peeling back your transfer tape which is working a little bit easier because I just used it before, so it's not as sticky. And I'm gonna use it one more time on my last one. But look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, you like I like that, that one. one. <laughs> I'm like, she keeps saying, can I have one? <laughs> I'll give her one. Um, but which ones do you guys like? Do you like that one? I like this holographic one. one. That purple one. This winter one with the snowflake. Emma likes this other purple one that I did. But still, that one her, that is her favorite. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to finish these up, and um, I'm going to put them up for sale at that store, and we're going to see what happens. But give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know which one is your favorite one. Which one do you guys like? Maybe I'll do a giveaway for one of these if you guys like it. I mean, it wasn't hard to do, but it's just kind of fun to get some sort of a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I might do that. All right, guys, well, happy crafting. Have fun creating these, and I'd love to see your designs if you guys make any. I'll talk about you guys on my channel if you guys want to leave your stores below, if you have any on Etsy or design bundles or anywhere. But happy crafting, have fun, and uh, take care, everyone.